Thank you. Good morning. You may have noticed that I am not Pastor Lee. Um, our pastor is having some medical issues right now, and he's unable to be with us today. Uh, and he asked me if I would fill in, so here I am. Um, I'd like to welcome anybody who's a guest here today. Uh, we have a book to sign in the back if you're a guest. Uh, we'd appreciate it. I think most of you know who I am, so I'm not going to introduce myself. Um, we have a lot of announcements, and I'm going to do them before we start anything else today. Number one, in your bulletins is the World Mission Offering Envelope and a little flyer to tell you a little bit about people involved with uh, World Mission Offering. You can read that, please, and if you feel so moved to give, we would appreciate that. Um, so far, all of the schedule for this week will be the same. We haven't made any announcements yet, so we'll let you know if there's any changes later. Today, after the service, there is a de deacon board meeting that will be in Pastor Lee's office and a trustee meeting that will be in the room on the other side of the um, Carrie's office. There are slips at the back on the bulletin table for any um, December graduates. Please let us know so that we can honor them. There are also uh, poinsettia forms back there. Fill them out and put them in your money on Carrie's desk, please. She will take care of that. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the cookbook next week, so I'll, I'll let that ride for right now. We are still collecting recipes, though, thank you, and getting them to carry. At the back of the church, um, on my right-hand side, is a, a big basket, and it's back there for any donations of children or women's underclothes you would like to make or any toys that you would like to donate that would go to the Women's Center and dwell this year at Christmas time to help them out. Uh, and that will be back there till the end of dis uh, November, the last week in November. And I'll be taking that and we'll be distributing it. Prayer cards. We did not have prayer breakfast yesterday because we were supposed to be doing the community meal. Unfortunately, that had to be changed. We're doing it on January the 4th now. Um, but the cards are back there. Please take some time sign some of them, all of them. We're grateful for that. Um, Bible study groups on Wednesday, take them in the room with you and sign them, please. Um, and we will get them out after next week. Now, let me see if I forgot anything. I don't think so. Okay. Do we have any other announcements that I should have made that I forgot? Nobody? All right. <clears throat> Thanksgiving is a day that we pause to give thanks for what we have. Veterans Day is a day to give thanks to the people who fought for the things that we have. Um, we would like to honor anyone who served and is a military veteran that is here with us today. Um, if you can, would you stand please? Thank you so very much for your service. It's much appreciated. And tomorrow is Veterans Day. So remember the veterans that you know. All right. Now we will take a moment. Are we good? Oh, I thought somebody said something. You are my place of safety and protection. You are my God and I trust in you. Would you please stand with me while we take the breath of life? As we came in here today, you may have brought all kinds of baggage with you. I would ask you to leave it at the cross. Give us maybe 45 minutes, maybe a little less today, because it'll be quicker, because I'm up here. Um, but leave, leave everything that you brought with you that's weighing you down this week. Leave it at the cross. Um, and, and let's just worship for the next little bit and give God all of our attention. And how we do that here is we take a deep breath in, and when we breathe out, we just leave all that mess at the cross. So if you would, please, take a nice deep breath in with me. 
and out. O oh God, of the still, small, quiet inner voice, help us to focus on you and you alone, to hear your voice within. There are so many voices demanding our attention, and we can't attend them without you. Be still and know that I am God. You say to us, as you said to Elijah, may your voice speak through us. In our weakness, may it be our strength. In our poverty, may it be our wealth. In our depression, let it be our joy. And in our apathy, let it be our love. We cannot sing love's song, O Lord, unless your song and voice is singing in us. Take this heart and with this mouth make your praise and thanksgiving a reality here and now because of and in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at this moment, we will take a, a second to lift up silent prayers that are on your heart that you don't want to share with anybody. Prepare us to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, with thanksgiving, we'll be a Be seated.
And now if you would stand and join me with America the Beautiful. Please be seated. Next we'll be doing uh, prayer concerns and because my hearing is not what it used to be, I'm going to walk around and repeat them as people tell them to me. And we'll start with the choir because they're close. Okay. Linda? Uh, Caitlin, Dan, and their family. Caitlin and Dan and their family. My sister Robin. Okay, your sister Robin. Nancy. Nancy. Okay, Dave just poked him for Nancy. Okay, uh, Dave's sisters. Mike. Mike. Ed. Ed. Mark. Mark. Lee and Annie. Lee and Annie. Okay. Char. Jean. Jean. Absolutely. Stephanie. Stephanie. Anybody else in the choir? Okay. Then I'm just going to rotate around the room so that you all can hear. And Sam and Kathy. Sam and Kathy. Mark and Meredith. Mark and Meredith and Holden. Always. Travis. Our LGBTQ kids, especially our trans kids. Okay. Tell me the letters again because I always mix them up. The LGBTQ. Kids. The LGBTQ kids. Especially our trans kids. And especially the trans kids. And everybody else who feels uncomfortable in this current climate. Yes. Um, Kyle. Kyle. Christine. Christine. Coy. Coy. Cindy. Cindy. Marie. Marie. And um, the Holly family and the, the Harner family. The Holly and the Hunter families. Harner. Harners. Okay. And, and our puppies. Anna. <laughs> Anna. Harold's okay? Yeah, he's fine. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Hi, Julie. All right. Shirley, you're good? Okay, Doris. My children. Her children. 
Uh, Richard. Richard. That's and that's good. Okay, Scott. Okay, come up around this way. We'll start with Joe. Pastor Lee and Miss Annie. Okay, Pastor Lee and Annie. Uh, are my church family. Church family. And uh, Amber. Amber. Okay. And you for all you do. Oh. <laughs> I'm just walking around the church repeating people. <laughs> all right, Joan. Amber. Amber. Calista. Calista. Hunter. Hunter. Matt. Matt. And myself. And Joan. And Melissa. I'm going to keep her on a mat and family. Okay. Christine. Charlie and Ashley. Charlie and Ashley. It's good to see you here today, my friend. Yes. Uh, Maureen. Maureen. And uh, Chrissy. And Chrissy. Okay. All right. Ralph. Ralph. Charlotte. Charlotte. And Rich. And Rich. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Leanne and family. Leanne and family. Davon. Davon. Hannah. Hannah. And all my friends and family. And all your friends and family. Okay. I'm going to come around that way. Janet? La Larry. Larry and Janet. Okay, Eileen? Jack. Jack. Wendy and family. Wendy and family. Joe. Joe. Uh, Greg. Greg. Sally. Sally. That's good? Okay. Annie. Oh, um, thanks to everybody who's praying for my husband and me. Okay, <laughs> thanks for all the prayers for her husband and her. Carolyn, Carolyn has a prayer. Oh, I'm sorry, Carolyn. That's okay. <laughs> Floyd and Jan. Floyd and Jan. Uh, Madison. Madison. Grace and Barb. Grace and Barb. Sorry, I didn't mean to walk past you. Maybe not my eyes are going now, too. Oh. Getting old is not for the weak of heart. Okay, Jim. Tammy, Joe, and Kathy. Tammy, Joe, and Kathy. My church family. Church family. And Phil. And who? Phil. Oh, our Philip. Okay. Okay. Gary. Uh, Gary. And me. And you. And Bob and Jeannie. And Bob and Jeannie. Cindy, Julie, and Donna. Okay. All the residents of Taiwan. All the residents of Taiwan. Hey, Rosie. Edna, Connie. Edna, Connie. Jamie and her family. Jamie and her family. Thank you. Anybody else back here? Did I miss anyone? I know this is a little awkward. It's not how we usually do it, but it's... Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be sending my husband running around to repeat things for me. Not good, not good. All right. With those people in our hearts and minds, let us go to prayer, please. Father, we come to you with hearts full of gratitude. We thank you for the gift of Jesus and of grace and for the blessings that come to us daily from you that sometimes we overlook. We are grateful for this opportunity to gather as your family, lift up our praises and our prayers to you. Thank you for your love that never fails and your mercy that's new every single morning. We bring to you many in our prayers, healing of bodies, hearts, and minds where needed, always knowing that you know what is best for us. Our world is so divided and broken right now, only you can repair it, so please show us how and where to do your will and to help us be instruments to make it a better, more accepting and loving place to live. Would you now join me with the Lord's Prayer, please? <clears throat>
And now would you join us with singing, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands. Amen. And now, if you will be seated, um, we will have our offering, our tithes and our gifts. has given us the biggest of the big and the smallest of the small, the very breaths that we breathe, we give back to you our offerings, always knowing that they are enough when we use them for your work and your glory. Please accept them and guide us in the best use. Amen. Okay, you may be seated. There is no sermon today, but we've been through a, a, a lot of weeks of controversy and ads on TV, and I thought maybe I would just read two scriptures that you could take home with you this week to keep you on path. The first one, and these are very familiar to you. The first one is Ecclesiastes 3. There's a time for everything. There's a time for everything. Everything on earth has its special reason. There's a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pull up the plants. There's a time to kill and a time to heal. There's a time to destroy and a time to build. There's a time to cry and a time to laugh. There's a time to be sad and a time to dance. 
There is a time to throw away stones, and there's a time to gather them in. There is a time to hug, and a time not to hug. There is a time to look for something, and a time to stop looking for it. There is a time to keep things, and a time to throw things away. There is a time to tear apart, and a time to sew together. There is a time to be silent, and a time to speak. There is a time to love, and a time to hate. There is a time for war, and a time for peace. Does a person really gain anything from his work? I saw the hard work the Lord has given us to do. He has also given us a desire to know the future. God certainly does everything at just the right time, but we can never completely understand what He is doing. We need to remember God's in control, and as long as we're in Him, we have hope. We never ever walk alone through anything that's coming our way. Because he's always with us, all you have to do is reach out and take his hand. He has a time for everything, and with him at our side, we can face anything that comes our way. My second scripture is my second favorite scripture, <laughs> and I've read it before many times. I know I have. First、um, Corinthians, thirteen. And now I will show you the best way of all. I may speak in different languages of men or even angels, but if I do not have love, then I am only a noisy bell or a ringing symbol. I may have the gift of prophecy; I may understand all the secret things of God and all the knowledge, and I have may have faith so great that I can move mountains. But even with all these things, if I do not have love, I am nothing. I may give everything I have to feed the poor. And I may even give my body as an offering to be burned, but I gain nothing by doing these things if I do not have love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous, does not brag, and it is not proud. Love is not rude. It is not selfish, and it does not become angry easily. Love does not remember the wrongs done against it. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love patiently accepts all things. It always trusts, always hopes, and always continues strong. Love never ends. There are gifts of prophecy, but they will be ended. There are gifts of speaking in different languages, but those gifts will end. There is the gift of knowledge, but it also will end. These things will end because this knowledge and these prophecies, with them, we are not complete. But when perfection comes, the things that are not complete will end. When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I made plans like a child. But when I became an adult, I stopped those childish ways. It is the same with us. Now we see if looking into a dark mirror. But at that time, in the future, we will see clearly. Now I know only a part. But at that time, I will know fully, as God has known me. So these three things continue forever: faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Love's the key. Jesus was love. We have the perfect example before us at all times when we come into this house and learn about Him, and we're called to be like Him. A while ago, there was a catchy thing: What would Jesus do? But actually, that's probably how we should accept,、uh, approach many things that we do in life. How would Jesus have done it? And he would have done it with love, because that's what he was. He was love.、Um, so sometimes, when one of God's times or seasons seems like maybe it's a little much to handle, give it to God, and trust that you can take His hand. And you'll meet it with love. And every time you sprinkle a little bit of love out in that world, you don't know who you're touching, and what a difference it might make. So, those are my challenges to you this week. Take them with you. There's a time for everything, and if you greet it with love, 
you're always going to come out on the right side. Amen. All right, we're going to have a prayer sing now, a uh, hymn sing. Um, and Carolyn's going to lead it because we all know I don't lead singing. Um, and so I'm going to take volunteers to um, shout out some numbers. And I apologize ahead of time if I don't call you by name. Sometimes I get up here and my mind goes blank. Um, so <laughs> please forgive me if I don't call you by name. So let's get started. Who has one they would like to? Ann says she needs the name of the church more than the number. The name? Yeah, not the number. Oh, okay. Oh, I need the number. Steve needs the number. You need the name. Oh. <laughs> okay, we'll do both. We'll do both. And we will sing the first and the last verse of every song. Dave, we'll start with you. Number 48. 48. Is the page, and, and the song title is Immortal, Invisible, God Only Wise. Immortal, Invisible, God yes. Only Wise. 48. <coughs> Thank you.
teacher to call on. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, many of you are raising your hand. Donna's next, so she raised her hand. <laughs>
I do have to tell you a quick little story. When our Kevin, and some of you know Kevin, was a baby, um, I used to sing Pass It On to him when he needed to go to sleep. He'd be fighting a nap, and his mom would hand him to me wherever we were, and I would start to sing Pass It On. Now, you have to know, I love music, I can't sing, and I mess up the words really bad, but I would sing this song to him, and within seconds, he would be asleep. And as he got older, and I would start to sing it, he'd go, no, Mimi, no. Because <laughs> he knew what we were going to be doing next. <laughs> I never hear that song that I don't think of that young man who's 21 now and, and sort of an adult. Okay, um, we're going to close today with singing Let There Be Peace on Earth. Please join me and stand.
and now. May you grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen.